Hello ladies and gentlemen, Vale4 coming at you, and I'm here today to show you Wasteland 2. This just had its official release on Steam, so you can go ahead and check out the front page of Steam and you should be able to find it. It's up there for, I believe, $40 currently. Let's go ahead and jump in the game. I'm going to show you a little bit of the combat and play of the game. Um, very old school. It's made by the creators of the original Wasteland and done by the same group that gave us Fallout 1 and 2. So as you can see, it's that top-down isometric view. I really like it. You don't uh, you don't see this in a lot of games anymore. Um, it's, it's actually really nice graphics. I like the kind of old-school feel, but with the good graphics they've got going on here. Uh, real quick, let me go ahead and get my medic healed up because this guy's half dead and that's not going to work for me. Why don't I go ahead and uh, give a brief description here. When you make your character now, you can pick from pre-made characters that the game has, and it will have a little biography for them, it'll have all their stats and their skills, and you make your party of four people at the very beginning of the game. Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to want to go ahead and make your own custom people. Now, this game's hard, I'm not gonna lie. I actually, um, this is my second recording because of the first one, it failed miserably. I got absolutely pwned. <laughs> so you really, you've gotta, you've gotta be careful because you will get beaten pretty bad in this game if you make a uh, silly mistake. And you can actually make characters that are all but worthless. So, how you'll begin is you'll have a certain amount of attribute points and you'll go through and just like any Fallout game or Boulder's Gate kind of game, you'll go through and you'll set up your stats the way you want each individual character. Then you have a set amount of skill points that you'll go through the various long list of skills they have and choose what you want. As you level up, you'll gain more skill points and attribute points to be able to level up these abilities of yours. So, why don't we get into some combat here and I'll give you a brief overview of how awesome this game is. Now, this this is a really nice kind of in-depth RPG. Um, I, I, I'm loving the story so far. This is a very early mission. In fact, this is the first mission. Um, I haven't gotten too far into the game, but I recently started over because I haven't played in a while, and they just had their release. <laughs> so, ooh, Sickle. That could be a fun weapon. So we will go ahead and we will get moving over here. I am going to fight what is pretty much the first boss. It's a, uh, a giant toad, and it's actually a lot tougher than it sounds. But this is a good way to demonstrate some of the combat, give you guys a uh, feel how the game is. And if you've played Baldur's Gate back in the day, or you've played any uh, Fallout 1 or 2, if you enjoy those games, I highly recommend you go over to Steam and you check this game out. A lot of fun, really nice story so far. Uh, you've got a lot of nice abilities and a uh, lot of customization you can do with your characters, so I'm, I'm actually enjoying it a lot so far. Get everybody set over on their guns. One of my first playthroughs, I had everybody with just guns and I ended up uh, finding out that ammo was becoming kind of a problem for me. And as I didn't have any melee skills, I couldn't hit the broadside of a Luke Skywalker. So that wasn't working for me. So I went ahead and I started this group, gave him a few melee abilities. Let's go ahead and let's let's tell this Toad what we think of him. Now you see the encounter begins. It's all based off stats, who will get the initiative and who will be able to move first. Sadly, the Toad got me beat, so he's going first. Damn. Uh, if you look right down here, you'll be able to see the ranges. Now, the problem with this M2 I've got is point-blank range. I'm most likely going to miss this guy, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh, that was incredibly lucky, because more times than not at that range, I'll miss every time. So I'm out of action points. We'll end the turn there. Now, this hunting rifle, I'm not even going to try. I shouldn't have even tried with the M2. So with this guy, I'm going to switch over to the melee weapon, and I'm going to shank me a toad. Come on, toady. Oh, oh, what's up? I love it. I love it. Two whole attacks with the knife. Already got this guy almost down to half health. This is turning out to be a lot better. Now let's go ahead and use the assault rifle. I'm actually going to move this individual over here, 
get me a little more range and hopefully a better shot. Go, yep, yep, there we go. Don't, no, no. This whole licking me thing, not working for me, Toad. Not working for me. Now you got a lot of various types of weapons. You've got handguns, you've got assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, and this M2 is one of the heavy weapon classes, which I am really enjoying so far. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move back here a little bit. And that raises my chance to hit a lot more. Now this guy. Ooh, hoo hoo hoo, swap weapons. So I can move back here. Still only a 31% chance, so I probably would have been better off actually staying there and hitting him with the knife. So now that I am this injured, I am actually going to heal this guy because he is my medic, and if he goes down, I'm going to have some serious issues. I notice my character is a bit beat up too, so that's, that's not working for me. I'm going to go ahead and crouch now. That will give me a better chance to hit and better evade chance. And the frog's going to come right at me. Come on, evade. Or no. You know, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just sit there and get hit by a frog. It's cool. Big ass mutated toads. I'm gonna shoot you in the face now. Yeah. Yeah, how do you like that, dick? <laughs> oh, really? With a pistol point blank, I can't hit anything. Oh, you're killing me. Now, this this game is, like I said, it's pretty tough right there. I could have done some really good damage, but instead I missed. He turns around and he just dropped two of my people. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, and my guy actually just died. Like, flat out dead. He will be remembered. But not by me. It's like mission one and you failed. Oh. Oh. Well, that is combat in Wasteland 2 in a nutshell. And, oh, I, I have to go bury the dead. I... Godspeed, Spider-Man. You poor dead bastard. Hey, he had a shovel on him. I'm good. I could go ahead and bury him. <laughs> if you guys like Fallout, though, I highly recommend you check this game out. If you like games that don't hold your hand and aren't just super easy and baby you throughout the entire game, I really recommend you pick this game up. A lot of customization. A lot of fun. So far, loving the story. Not loving my own story, though, where I just died, because that, that could have gone better. That could have definitely gone better. <laughs> but if you enjoy these kind of aspects of RPGs, highly recommend you go over to Steam and you check this game out. If you liked this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Give her a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos for the XP Gamers Live. And as always, I thank you all so very much for tuning in, and I will talk to you all much later.